What's up everyone, this is Emilio. Uh, today I'm gonna be shooting a video um, on how a wholesaler should take pictures of a house. And um, I'm shooting this video just to help out other wholesalers because they're newer wholesalers like, hey, I got a deal. And then they send me pictures of a house and there's like four pictures. So um, what I'm gonna do is I am at a house right now, it's vacant. So I have the time to just go around and and then walk through the house and point out certain things to help you as a wholesaler, or honestly, if you're not a wholesaler, but if you're a real estate investor, just to, if you're sending somebody out to take pictures, or if somebody does send you pictures, I want you to be aware of some things that need to be there. Or again, it doesn't need to be there, but it just helps you estimate your rehab better or the value of the house a little bit better because you're gonna have to replace certain things and yada 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 so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip this camera around and then i'm just gonna talk while i go through this house and give a couple pointers and um i hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, if you like the video please like the video if you know other wholesalers that don't know how to take pictures of houses for the, this video off to them, share this video. Uh, again, I mostly cover the real estate, Detroit real estate market, but I'm starting to create more videos uh, for newer wholesalers and investors just to teach them um, the real estate investing like gamut and just trying to spread the knowledge out there. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's flip this thing around and let's learn something today. Okay, here we are on in the interior of the video. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk about the amount of pictures you should have when you're shooting a video. So at on average, I shoot 50 pictures. That's right, 50 pictures. I shoot the exterior, I shoot the interior. Um, I also shoot anything that uh, it could be seen as like major, as major damage to the property or something that would be really expensive. Usually the really expensive things are um, mechanicals like uh, electrical, plumbing, the roof, windows, um, molds, uh, foundation problems. Um, those are just to name a few. Obviously the kitchen is the obvious thing, bathroom is the obvious thing. Um, so just to let you know, don't stop shooting like 10 pictures. It's not enough, you need at least 50. I mean, you could probably do it with 25, 35, but I want you to set a goal that when you go to a house, shoot at least 50 pictures. And this is how you shoot pictures, okay? So we are in this room, and I call this method the corner method. So what you're gonna do is, instead of shooting a picture, I don't know why people do this, but they zoom in on like the fireplace, and they zoom in on this corner, and then they zoom in here. What you wanna do is you wanna try and show in one shot as much pictures, um, as much of this room as possible. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand in a corner, and I want you to take a picture here, I want you to take a picture here, and then go down and look at the floor because the flooring might need new flooring, might need carpet, things like that. Take a picture here and go up. And I want you to take a picture of the ceiling because there could be, again, they might have to paint the ceiling. There could be a leak from the plumbing upstairs. So the ceiling's falling in. So take a picture of this, of the ceiling up here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go to the opposite corner because they can't see what was behind you. So this way, what you do is, again, stand in the corner, see as much as you can of the room. You take a picture here, move to the side, take a picture here, take a picture here, and take a picture here. So that's like four pictures. So you already got eight pictures in just this room alone. Now, before you go, one thing you wanna start noticing as well is just see these windows right here. These are vinyl windows. These are good windows, and it usually costs about, let's say, 250 to 300 per window. It depends on what market you're in. Um, talk to more contractors. Start to understand what they charge per window. So these, these don't need to be replaced, but if you notice, this right here is an original wood window. They might have to replace this. Actually, it looks pretty good. You could just like scrape the sides here. If it opened and closes, the class looks pretty good. Really just depends up to the buyer, but just point out that it's an original window. Um, just notice little things like that. Um, notice if there's any kind of leaks in the ceiling, if water's falling down and soaking in the floor, you wanna notice things like that. Um, things like this, this is a laminate floor. You can see the laminate's breaking up. Take a picture of that just so the buyer knows um, or the investor knows like that's an issue right there. So let's go to the bedroom again corner uh, Corner method stay here in the corner try and get as much as you can you can't get this side of the room But what you do is just take a picture here and then just scooch it over take a picture here 
at the floor. And if you notice, right here, they're starting to install laminate floor over this hardwood flooring. You could take a picture of this as well. And then take a picture of the ceiling because there could be cracks in the ceiling. Um, and then just stand in the opposite corner. Again, picture here, 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 and here. So that easy, it's very easy. And then same thing with the bathroom. Not a lot of corners here, but just try and try and uh, get as much as you can of the picture of the bathroom. So bathroom here, shot here, shot here, shot of the ceiling. Come over here to the bathtub, shot of the bathtub. Um, you notice here too, like this wall isn't completed. Maybe stand here and take a corner of this. What you're trying to do is you're trying to create a story. You're trying to let the investor know exactly how much they're gonna spend. Because if you're an investor, what's going through your mind is, oh, I gotta replace this, I gotta replace that. You have to come up with a estimate of the rehab, of the money you're gonna put into the house, right? So how are they gonna know that without accurate pictures? So let's go to the kitchen. And with the kitchen, same thing. You could do the corner method. Stand here in the corner. You could do a shot here. You could do a shot here. Shot at the ceiling. Shot at the floor. And then you come over here, maybe take a picture of the cabinets. And then scooch to the corner again. This corner method really is, is um, a really good way to take pictures. See? And then up and down. And then notice this is drop ceiling. So let's go to the basement. Now, the one thing in the basement if the house does have a basement. One thing you wanna do is you wanna take a picture of the mechanicals. So, you wanna take a picture of the panel. Why do you wanna take a picture of the panel? Because this is an updated panel, but you could have a panel that's very outdated, so they're gonna to have to invest money in putting a new panel. Um, you could even see the wires coming in here. You know, it looks updated, but some of the older houses have cloth wiring or knob and tube, stuff to think about. You wanna come over here, you wanna take a picture of the furnace. The age of the furnace, you take a picture of that. Um, this is the water heater, it's like wrapped in like a thing. But take a picture of the water heater, and then what you wanna do is, is the water heater has lines um, going into the water, into the water heater. So you have cold and you have hot lines, you have a gas line. So you have plumbing, you have uh, PEX, which is like a hardened plastic, you have copper, and then you have galvanized um, piping, which is really old. It still works, but it's very old. So you're gonna notice the plumbing that's coming out of here. So I want you to take a picture of the plumbing so they know what the plumbing looks like. Um, and the one thing about the foundation that you really wanna focus on is just notice if there's any waters or if there's any bowing of the walls that are coming out. So like here's a cinder block wall that's painted. A lot of times you'll see cracks in the wall or it's like bowing out like this. You wanna take pictures of those and just notice things like that. So a lot of the times, if this was a, um, a foundation that had, um, you know, water coming in, you wanna notice stuff like that because that means that there's an issue with the foundation. Um, not the biggest concern, but like these are just glass windows. If they wanted to, if this was a flip, they might want to put glass block windows in there. Um, let's see the plumbing again. This is, this is, um, galvanized plumbing. This is PVC plumbing. Um, notice here. Oh, this is copper. So they went from, uh, uh, lead, uh, galvanized to copper here for the uh, utility tub. And again, same thing applies. You know, you wanna go in the corner, um, take a picture here, take a picture here, take a picture of the ceiling. Oh, notice down here in the ceiling. So a lot of um, basements have these ceilings here. Anyways, you'll notice like brown spots here. So what happens is, is like maybe there's pipes running through and there's a leak in the pipe and it just keeps getting hit right here and it gets, gets getting soaked in and you're gonna notice like brown spots forming. That's because there's, there might be a leak in the pipe. Uh, just notice little things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this party outside and we're going to shoot pictures of the outside, but it's pretty much the same rules apply. Actually, this leads outside. Oh, cool, let's just go outside here. All right, cool. So we're in the backyard now, and um, you wanna take a picture here, 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 and then from here, you could also go to the back corner here. And what I like to do is you wanna take a picture of the back of the house here, here, and then you go to that corner as well. Just like walk over a bunch of stuff. 
Ooh, don't fall in. Yikes. And then you want to take a picture here, here, and then after you take pictures from far away, you want to walk up to the house and then try and zoom in on certain portions of the house, the roof especially. Now, unfortunately, there is snow on top of the roof, so we can't see what's underneath the roof. But what you could do is, is you could come up here and you could take a picture here, zoom in up there, take a picture there, take a picture here. Notice that there's a condenser back here for the, uh, there's a condenser back here for the air conditioning. Also notice that there's gutters on the seat, on the roof. If there's no gutters, take pictures of that because if there's no gutters and downspouts, they're going to have to put gutters and down, um, uh, downspouts and gutters. Uh, one thing also to notice is that if they don't have these um, tubes to keep the uh, water away from the house, it might, whenever it rains, if it just shoots down here to the foundation, the water is going to get down to the foundation and it'll soak into the walls and that'll actually, that's not really good for the foundation. So that's things to worry about as well. And it's the same thing for the front of the house. So let's do this. Let's go to the front of the house and then I'll show you how to take pictures of that. But again, same rules apply. All right, now we are at the front of the house and what you wanna do is, is you take a picture of the front of the house. This is kind of like the, this is the best picture you should take because if you're trying to wholesale this, you need a nice headline image or a front image to sell when you're putting it on Facebook or Craigslist or if you have email blasts. This is the picture you wanna use when you are putting your marketing together. So you wanna take a picture of the front, take a picture of the side here. Again, take a picture of the side here. And then you could also, again, kinda of do the corner method. So come here, do a picture of the side here, side here. Now what you could also do is start to come up and start to take pictures closer so they could see the condition up close, but at certain angles. Right here, take a picture here, take a picture here, come up and, you know, notice downspouts and gutters, take pictures of the landscaping. And if this was a brick um, house, try and take pictures of any bricks that are need um, attention or anything that could be costly. So you take a picture here, if we put, go up here, take a picture here and if you want to put the cherry on the top, you could actually do a video walk through the house, which I started doing, and it just makes it a lot better. Um, so what you could do is you could start here and then just do a 360 shot of the street. You could go real slow. But you could even take pictures 360 of the street so people could just see the surrounding area and just see, like, how good the street is. So that's it, guys. I hope this video was very helpful to you. I'm going to get inside where it's nice and warm. But I hope this video is very helpful to you. And um, if you like the video, please like it, comment on below, comment on, oh, sorry, it's so cold. My mouth is frozen. <laughs> comment below. Let me know um, if you want to see more videos like this. You know, normally I talk about the Detroit market. So some people are just like, oh, this has nothing to do with Detroit. I want to watch it. But um, I feel this video can be helpful for a lot of people out there, um, especially if you are learning to buy real estate. Um, you got to know take more pictures the more pictures the better because it gives you a better idea of what you're purchasing and what you're going to put into it to make it livable or to flip it or to make it as a rental or whatever so um again um i'm trying to get to i'm almost to a thousand subscribers i think i'm like 902 subscribers right now so um Please share this video and um, try and share it with as many people as you can. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.